the, uh, all the, the last races declared, the last part of this race declared null and void, so in the old days you used to get half points if it had elapsed so long. It's all or nothing this time round, so uh, it looks like they've, uh, they've it's shortened it to a seven lap race on pole position, Ashley Payne, then we've got 294, Steve Bridge, uh, 48 there, and I think that's Malcolm Belsky on the inside line. Uh, yeah, Malcolm Belsky there. Yeah, Dwayne Bishop did a big uh, power wheelie when he started off, so he's not uh, had the best of start. He got a great start last time, but this time around, not so good. Ashley Payne, uh, he's done a good job. He's around there. Stephen Bridge is, uh, again, uh, right up the front there. So I think it's Stephen Bridge. Uh, he's going to lead them around turn two into the S's. Ashley Payne's right in there as well. Uh, a better start this time uh, for the 87 of Mark Perry. He's in fourth place, so this is all on here. There's Wayne Bishop. He's managed to get up into fifth, so uh, not too bad, but uh, off the front row. We go racing here with seven lapper, and this is going to be all on spider. Jason Lamb come over to me and says, Are you the steward that he's the one that crashed in the last race? Are you the steward that checks your helmet? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, no. I, uh, so, anyway, I think he found it, come running out of the lift and sprinted back while the bike's had already got out there. So, Jason Lamb rejoined on the number 70 machine. Uh, the rules are you've got to get your bike re scrutiny. He does have a spare bike. I don't know what the situation is. And you've got to get a medical check and your helmet checked. So, the thing is, he's back out there. I said, the medical check? And he said, no, no, they're all right. So uh, uh, hopefully he's got that. And, uh, but it is what it is. So number 70, Jason Lamb back out there. Ashley Payne, Steve Bridge, Dwayne Bishop. Uh, how are they going to fare coming through there? It is Steve Bridge, Ashley Payne there. Takes a high line. Uh, Dwayne Bishop there. The thundering four-cylinder of Dwayne Bishop there. And the booming V-twin. But Ashley Payne takes it into turn one there. And gets ahead of Steve Bridge. GSXR 750. This is probably the Formula Sports style of bike, well it is, rather than the Bears, but the, all the points are combined and uh, hot action out there, third place is that, it's going to be a BMW S1000R really I think with uh, Richard, Mark and Barrett on the number 19 machine uh, attended as that. I, um, I've seen him with his Kramer but I'm going to say this is, just look at the power of it, it's got to be the BMW S1000. Hard to recognise the bikes, the silhouette's a bit tame. In fact, there he is lined up against Dwayne Bishop. There's no way this is a smaller 800 or 900 cc single. It's definitely the German four cylinder. So out the front, Japanese, then followed by uh, Italian. And then we go into third place, and it is the uh, German bike, then Italian, Italian, uh, with Mark Perry and Malcolm Belsky there on the 74 machine, uh, the Japanese machine. So a big wide line there for Steve Bridge coming around that uh, go media call. That's a very difficult corner. All corners have got their own little interesting things, but that's an ever decreasing radius. So you take it right across the apex there, uh, about where the Manfield sign is, the Suzuki sign, run a bit wide and then cut in uh, across onto the go media. And of course that's without dicing with other traffic. Uh, you've often got to adapt your style to see get round someone else. But uh, who's the fastest man on the track is Ash Payne, a 108.504. This is a highly respectable time. The Bears lap record, the Bears senior lap record is a 108.212, so we're not far off that. That's incredible. That's Jason Bardell. I think Jason from Wanganui got it uh, last year. Jason Bardell on the track on the Dust Beast, the 49 machine. 140 out there, Jeff 48, Jeff Rogerson in the mix of the pack, probably about 16th, 17th, and uh, enjoying his racing. So there's a big gaggle of them going in and out of the hairpin and some change of position there, but uh, Ashley Payne. It just opens it up down that back straight there where Steve Bridge can only look and think, right, I've just got to keep my head down. We have five laps to go on this restarted uh, Q West sponsored, Skafit sponsored uh, Bears Formula Sport class here at the 2019 Suzuki Series. After this, the boys put their uh, um, bikes into the trailer if they've finished the day. Uh, no opening of air until the final race has finished, uh, that's for anybody. So if they want to go and have themselves a brown Powerade or a man coffee, and they've got a beer, they've got to go into the stands and watch from there. So that's the situation, that's the rules, TMNZ ruling, probably track ruling as well. So uh, uh, hopefully I'll get in the town tonight and have a uh, bit of a mix with some of the people staying in town because a lot of the riders go off to the uh, motels. There's still probably about 60 people stayed in the pits last night. Uh, I'm going to go out and um, maybe cause a little bit of havoc in fielding and catch up with my sister and stay there tonight. I might start the track. Is that a change of position for fourth almost coming up there? That is the big 48 machine, reels in 19. The 19, the BMW S1000 now just gains a bike length here. It's up to braking. Dwayne Bishop is uh, running up closer on the inside, closes it down. The lead two bikes are spread out. So this is the battle for the third 
and fourth position there, Brad Ritchie. Yeah, I'm loving this battle for third at the moment. Richard Mark and Barrett, he's doing a wonderful job. Uh, Dwayne Bishop all over the back of him. So uh, that's the battle for third and fourth. Podium on the line here as we see uh, Ashley Payne and uh, Steve Bridge uh, got first and second well sewed up at the moment. And Ash Payne. A 108.297 that time around, so that's a very close to lap record pace there, 108.297 on a little uh, 7.50, so Ash Payne's got that bike really dialed in well, Spider. Uh, looking down at the pit lane, I see no pit boards uh, available to come out, there are the pit boards, Rogan Chandler there, um, so I wonder what uh, whether Ashley Payne knows is an on lap record pace. What about the uh, Bears Formula Sport Junior? Um, that's got to be a uh, 109.927 set by uh, Zurin Wiki, where's our first one of our juniors? Possibly back to uh, what's Adrian Clear running on the 99 machine? Might, you might want to check on this Ian Dawson to see if we can find out the Bears Junior. Uh, oh, actually, it's, it's got Senior Junior there. I've just noticed that. We're looking out on the track, a big group of bikes right in front of us through turn three. Four bikes hammering it out there. Ashley Payne down that back straight with three laps to go. He's got this one sorted. See Bridge in second. So that battle for third place, Dwayne Bishop has now got in front of uh, Richard Mark and Barrett. Richard Mark and Barrett closes up under brakes. They go around the big go media sweeper here at the western end of this Manawatu circuit. The circuit, Chris Amon for the 2019 Suzuki International Series. This is, there's still life in this battle. There's still life in this battle. I'm just gonna look out to see who's the fastest on the track. Morgan Gomion, unfortunately out. He's got the Voxan, he had dropped a valve on uh, uh, Friday, Jason Bardell, Jason Lamb, Sam Willisey out of action. They're not uh, showing us uh, out there on the track. So there's a couple of others there, but our screen has changed. A little unsettled for Dwayne Bishop going through the S's. Uh, I think there's very few people that muscle a bike like him around the track. He's a bit of an ape. In fact, I think they film gorillas in the mist in this guy's shower. You look at him, he's scared little children and Mr. Whippy. But um, a good guy to have at the track, a pretty brutal, brutal guy and brutal on the track. Ashley Payne, another Wanganui boy there, leads his class by, uh, oh, I'd say that's probably five or six or seven seconds. It's on the timing, but uh, the timing screen's uh, disappeared, so we've got to go to the B timing screen. That'll come back. But meanwhile, the action on the track. Where's this battle for third place and fourth place there, Brad Ritchie? Just coming down the uh, back straight there at the moment. It's all on here. Ashley Payne gets the white flag. It's one lap to go for him. Uh, he is flying at the moment. Steve Bridge still doing a good job in second place. Talking to Bridgie. So who's first of the juniors? Uh, the first junior through at the moment. We've got... Uh, I know, I can look. Yeah, all right. You've got G Mendes through there in the junior class at the moment. So that's good uh, stuff from G Mendes. Uh, we've got uh, yeah, Ash Payne, Stephen Bridge talking to Bridgie before and uh, just the tailwind and the slipstream just outbraked himself into turn one. Uh, but he's A-OK -okay and uh, he's in second place there trying to get some uh, championship points. And then we've got uh, Dwayne Bishop and Richard Mark and Barrett third and fourth. That's uh, definitely all on at the moment with one lap to go. Mark Perry is uh, a lonely old ride in fifth with Malcolm Bowski uh, rounding out your top six spider. So uh, we've got half a lap to go and Ashley Payne is uh, unstoppable today. Right, the white flag is out, this is the final lap, uh, Ashley Payne, that's Ashley flying down that back straight, the number 72 machine, and uh, certainly got this one in the bag there, fastest lap of 108.297, so close to lap record speed, 108.212, so that's just uh, 70 thousandths of a second off there, I'm not sure what they did in practice, but that doesn't qualify, a checkered flag there for Ashley Payne, two out of two today after a DNF or DNS yesterday, Steve Bridge, a second place, that's uh, top showing for Steve Bridge, and there we got Dwayne Bishop on the 48 machine, followed by number 19, the ITOL sponsored uh, machine. And uh, is that Mark Perry there in fourth place there? Yep, yep, fifth place Mark, Mark Perry fifth there. Perry, yeah. sorry. So uh, he did a good job on the borrowed bike. He dropped a valve uh, last week in Taupo, so uh, on the borrowed bike. So uh, good to see Mark Perry still out there on the top five. Malcolm Bowski uh, through in sixth place. Then we go back to uh, uh, Stephen Leggett, he's there in seventh place. So uh, brilliant stuff all around and uh, well done to Ashley Payne from Wanganui. A great uh, win, so he's won two from two today. Unfortunately had a battery issue and uh, DNF'd uh, the first race on the Saturday, but uh, definitely uh, bears and formerly sport action. Uh, the points uh, chase will be well on now. So Ash Payne, Steve Bridge, Steve had the DNF earlier today. Ash had the DNF on Saturday, so uh, all on. Here, as far as the champions are concerned, the uh, update, Ash Payne, Steve Bridge, Dwayne Bishop, that's your podium. Uh, Richard Mark and Barrett, then Mark Perry in fifth, Malcolm Belsky, sixth place, Stephen Leggett in seventh, Adam Clare, 
Uh, Adrian Clare, sorry, in eighth place, and Chris Dyson, Jeff Rogerson there in tenth place. So uh, well done to Jeff Rogerson. He was running uh, down in about uh, 14th place early on, so he's managed to get himself up into a top ten uh, in this Bears and Formula Sport action. So. Uh, Split into two races, we did the first uh, three laps, uh, then we had the red flag and then the uh, final seven lap restart has been taken out by Ashley Payne, so uh, well done to Ashley. 